little bit, um, how should I put it? Tired actually, long day, but well, what fun. And I'm gonna show you just a few, a very small cross section of some of the treasures that I've picked up. Like, and I'm buying things for myself generally, actually. But obviously you can sell on or whatever. This is a little vitrine, a little display cabinet. And I just think, I love these, I've got lots of these. And I just think they're so enchanting. And that inside you have a silk base, usually it has a pink or red base to it with buttons. Now this is all tatty, but I like that. You know, the shabby chic and all that terminology. But I just love the gilt. It's very cheaply made. It's tin and a sort of gilt tin base to it, but it's still beautiful quality. Cut panel, cut glass up here and a lovely blue tint, which is quite unusual. I don't often see that. Usually they're clear glass. Now, I didn't buy this with this little vitrine. It's a display thing. Also, very faintly on here, there's a, I, I don't know what it says. It's possibly going to be like Pluenon or somewhere in France. It's very, very faint, but that doesn't really matter. But I bought this and it's got, it's made a pinch back. Now, it was only something like 50p or whatever, but there's a seed in the middle. Now, what on earth is the history to this? I don't know, but it meant something to someone at some point. I mean, it's a bit of a jack and a beanstalk there, isn't it? If I plant that, what on earth will sprout? I don't know. But the fact that that is pinchbeck, which is a good quality sort of brass, makes me wonder that that obviously was rather valuable in its day. It could be 1800s. It's got a bit of age to it. So that will live in that little little display box but a few other quickies here this is very exciting look at that oh yes I bet that gets you going it's actually an axe head the chap didn't know what it was but he had a feeling it was Greek and I, I do believe it's Phoenician or so you know, it's 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 a Bronze Age axe head and uh, again it was 20 pounds and they can be worth up to a thousand um, it is damaged it would have a circular area here for the stick to go up but it's the patination on it that's beautiful oh it makes me want to rub it and rub it all over my face and i know that's wrong but i don't care and uh, it's about one and a half to two thousand years old rather beautiful that that i'm gonna keep again this is fun too look at this dirty bit of string with a bit of brass on the end but it's one of these classic skirt lifters the ladies of the 1800s you know They'd have their big petticoats getting wet. They'd lift up their skirt with one of these. I don't know why they didn't use their fingers, but another world, very strange dimension going on there. And uh, let's see, here we have uh, just a very, very early Buddha. Well, that's early, 1700s. And uh, I just, the fact, it feels right to me. It's got gills on it, it's all worn, but it's very, it's, it's a hard wood, but it's very light. And that sort of shows its age. When, the wood, when you've got a very heavy wood that's light, it's dried out over the centuries. So um, I Burmese, I, that style. And uh, again, 1700s. Um, again, I only paid 20 pounds for that, but they're, you know, they're up to 120. Depends, depends how posh your shop is or where you go to buy your objet. And then this little fun number, look at that. That's about 1910 to 36. It's a, I don't know if that's a piece of the toilet paper, but it's a, they, my grandfather used to use strips of toilet, uh, of newspaper. That's a war thing, I believe. And this is a Second World War period. Uh, uh, it's actually a bit municipal, or it's actually, I think, from a, a post office, probably St Pancras or somewhere like that. It used to be in their toilets for the post office. And again, 1930s, that would have heard a few air, air raid sirens, I bet. Yeah, we'll put it down, 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 down.